Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 4 we are on lesson number 28. And that means that we today we are going to be writing equations and word problems corresponding to tape and number line diagrams. So where usually we are the recipients of those problems, today we're the creators of those problems. So uh, given that that's a process that has no right answer, right, I mean you could come up with a limited number of possible scenarios to fit a particular um, set of measurements or tape diagrams or number lines. Um, I'm going to just do one problem uh, with you today and I'm going to leave you to do uh, as many of the other homework problems as have been assigned by your teacher. So let's take a look at problem number two. Problem number two, it asks us to create and solve a story problem about one third pound of flour that is modeled by the tape diagram below. Huh, so we've got flour, so we're already working in the world of food, so that's good news for me. Um, let's see. So it looks like they had a, pound, a third of a pound of flour, so I see, so this must be the whole pound of flour. But they started with not the whole pound, they started with just a third of a pound. And then it looks like they divided up the third of a pound even smaller. Hmm. So they started with a third of a pound, and then they divided that up. And then the question is, how much was each one of those thirds of the third? Hmm. Well, I'm lucky that this is um, this is a problem with um, with food in it because this is really in my wheelhouse. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna see if I can type this problem um, because I know that I'm gonna have trouble um, writing this problem. So I'm gonna start off by saying, let's see, a baker. Oh, a pizza maker. Even better, a pizza maker made um, made some dough with one-third of a pound of flour. It made enough dough for three pizzas. Ha <laughs> ha! How much flour was in each pizza? Ah, okay, so see what I did there? So I'm going to spread that out. I knew that I'd never be able to do that. So pizza maker, let's see if it fits our, our, our diagram. Our Yeah, our diagram here. Our pizza maker made some dough with one-third of a pound of flour. Okay, so we started off with one-third of a pound. It made enough dough for three pizzas. Okay, so there's one, two, three pizzas. How much flour was in each pizza? This amount. All right, so what we have, now we have to solve our own problem, right? And I'll switch to red here. So we had a third of a pound of dough. And then we divide it, it into three chunks. So that's essentially the problem we have to solve. And what I remember from before is that we tried to restate this fraction with an equivalent fraction that was more helpful to us. So I think it would be helpful if we made this fraction have a three in the numerator so that we could do the division over here. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to multiply the numerator by three. But if I do that, I need to multiply the denominator by three so that I have an equivalent fraction, right? So that's going to give me three ninths divided by three. And now I've got the my old classic, right? Which is I have three of something divided by three, and that leaves me with one of something. What is my something in this case? Well, it's ninths, right? Three ninths divided by three is one ninth. And so I think that each of these is going to be one ninth. So let me go ahead and write that answer. Each pizza would have one ninth pound of flour. Awesome. So we have created and we have solved a story problem about one third of a pound of flour that is modeled by the tape diagram below, where the one third was itself then divided into three more spots. I like our problem. I like our answer. Done. Good luck with the rest of your problems on tonight's homework. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.